your thinking has to change as you evolve, as you grow, as you go from season to season. You need to learn what you need to do for the next season. And if that is staying with the same mower for 10 years and, and you haven't put any hours on it, then that's what you do. If I only had one lawnmower, it would never last me 10 years because I do way too much volume for that. Way too much. We do way, <laughs> hell to the gnaw, man. But the kind of volume I do is required to make what I feel like is top dollar. Now, I know there are other people bigger than me that are smarter than me that make more money than me. I'm, I'm, I, I get it. That's cool. I'm, 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 and I'm actually, I would want to pick their brain. <laughs> Not hate on them, but want to pick their brain. And y'all have seen my channel go from, well, from, you know, I guess I guess my channel started when I had two zero turn mowers because I didn't really I didn't really uh, do a, a do but y'all seen some of the older videos that I did that I kind of pieced together before I had any equipment and I'm so glad looking back on the last 15 years that I seized every moment instead of looking back on the last 15 or 20 years and saying Man, I'm right where I was to begin with. That ain't healthy for me. Because if I thought like that, and I wasn't trying to grow like that, and if you're if you think like that, and you're and you're not trying to grow like that, and nothing wrong with that, but you'll never accumulate the kind of tools and equipment that I got. Not that my stuff is top of the line or bottom of the line or good or bad, but You'll never, if you're cutting grass for a living and you're trying to get somewhere in life in the lawn care game, you're never going to get where you want to get if you don't evolve and grow. You're never going to own a skid steer. You're never going to own all the attachments. You're never going to own a trailer to pull it around with. You're never going to own a dump trailer. Because you're going to be spending all your time doing the little lawns that you got, that you've had ever since the beginning, not really growing none. And there's only so much time in a day. So, some people, and nothing wrong with it, some people would rather just stay like that and do a YouTube channel and hope they can make money that way because that's really where their interests lie. Their interests don't really lie in building a business. A business. Their interest lies in, and I'm not talking about anybody in, in particular, their interest lies in doing YouTube videos and lives and entertainment stuff. Hey, man, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Everybody got to hustle. But it's hard for me to take business knowledge or business sense or business advice from folks that's been doing it 20 years plus and still have the same equipment that they had 20 years ago. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's just my thinking. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just a, an illusion, uh, you know, maybe I'm an anomaly. I don't think I am. I like to think that you guys that follow my channel, though I know that I'm not uh a big channel or nothing and you know but I like to think that you guys that follow my channel that you guys want to make the most money and you're trying to make the most money in the minimal time I would be I, I mean I would be depressed <laughs> if I look back on the last 15 years and I ain't got nothing To show for all the years of heavy labor uh, uh, and uh, heat and dealing with help and all the issues that come up in the lawn care business. I'd be depressed, man. I'd be freaking sad. 
but I'm not everybody else. You know, everybody's a little bit different. I just feel like my time is worth a lot. And I'm proactive in that thinking. <laughs> And if you have the mindset, if you're, if you're young in this game, I'll just say it one more time. If you're young in this game, you do not have to have big trailers and big mowers like I got. You can make, you can make a living with very minimal equipment. But are you gonna be able to compete with people that have invested in their equipment? Because there's going to come a time when you, you know, four years, five years, six years, eight years, ten years in, where you're going to come up against the wall, and you're not going to be able to get past that. I don't know. There's not really an exact number. It's according to how efficient you are and how dense your routes are. But you're going to hit that wall of sixty or seventy thousand dollars a year. And then once you hit that wall, then what? I've never hit the wall, y'all. Never. I ain't hit the wall now. Never, because I'm always plotting and planning on trying to figure out a way to get more equipment to make more money based on some of the things that I've learned out here and I see out here, like I said in the video yesterday. And I know everybody doesn't want to be a big landscaper I don't even consider myself a big landscaper I'm a small guy so why would somebody have you know three or four mowers and and like me sometimes I don't even have help to run all the mowers well a couple reasons why Number one, the more mowers you got, the less hours you put on each individual machine. Number two, if you get if you run off, there ain't a cut I can't do. There is not a there is not a lawn that I can't cut and make money at it, y'all. <clears throat> I like to know when I go on these properties. Big or small, don't matter. That if I can't cut it, nobody else can. That's that that I believe that to my freaking heart because of the investment that I have in my equipment. Now, if you are of the mindset, nothing wrong with this, if you're of the mindset that, well, I'm just gonna have we can just have one trailer and uh, and you know one one mower and you know a beat up backup. And you've been doing it more than 15 or 20 years, and that's what you got, and that's what you live by, that's what you stand by. All I can say is, wow, really? I didn't even know people thought like that. I didn't. But if you're the mindset. that you're gonna stay like that, nothing wrong with that, but you're not gonna be able to compete with anybody that has invested in their business. You're not gonna be able to compete, you're not gonna be able to pull up to to a five acre site, 10 acre site, and make the big money because you're not gonna be able to do it in a timely fashion. And that's okay, but I built my business on a lot of the bigger cuts. I don't wanna be out here, you know, uh, trying to get by and uh, trying to take on any property. If somebody calls me about a yard, I don't care how big it is. I don't care. It does not even matter to me. The bigger yards, the better for me and my equipment. That's what I bought my equipment based on. Now, some people, that's not their forte, and they buy equipment to go up into the, into the neighborhoods. I do a little bit of that. Y'all see. But that ain't, but that ain't why I bought the big equipment. I bought the big equipment based on the yards that I do and continue to do and will be doing more of. 
So if somebody's thinking like, well, yeah, I don't really need that. They, 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 they're not gonna be able to pull up onto a 10 acre, 15 acre site and be able to do the job and make money at it. Number one, well, it's, all, it's, it, it, it's gonna rag their freaking mower out because there's only one mower. So that's why I have multiple mowers, just, just to let you guys know. But I can pull up on to these little mom and pop yards and I can do the properties with the mowers that I have. Even if it doesn't include a riding mower, I got I got I got 30 inch mowers. I can I got two of them. I can I can you know use those mowers to do the mom and pop yards. So you have to ask yourself, can you do the big acre yards and make money at it with one mower? Well, you might be able to. But you ain't gonna be able to do them regular with one mower. Are you gonna be able to pull up to a six hundred dollar cut and and with one mower and be able to cut 14, 15 acres and before lunch? Mm -mm, no, you ain't. God forbid if your mower goes down. But it's the ability to be able to do big jobs like that that run you into bigger jobs. That run you into more lucrative jobs. And just because the job is real big don't mean it's lucrative. You have to make it lucrative based on your equipment. I make jobs lucrative. Once I agree to the money, then it's up to me to put myself in the best scenario to do the, do the job and make money at that number. If I gotta throw two mowers at it, then that's what I'll do. If I gotta throw three mowers at it, that's what I'll do. If I gotta throw four mowers at it, I can do that too. But if I just had a single axle trailer with one mower and one little backup mower, I wouldn't be able to do none of those jobs. But I can do all the jobs that you can do. Mowing, all of them. There's not a property, and I hate to say definite stuff, but there's not a property, big or small, that I can't freaking mow. <laughs> there's not. However you wanna look at it. 10 acres, no problem. 15 acres, no problem. An eighth of an acre, no problem. Can you say the same if you've got a single trailer trying to get your mowers to a 10 acre site where the where the real money is? There's money into the into the residential lawns, and I do all my stuff's residential just about. There's money into the you know the residential lawns like my lawn. There's money in it. But there's more money in the bigger cuts. Of course, you gotta have the equipment to do it. There's more money in the bigger cuts with less labor. You could get on a job like what, like my, my, like my house, or the house across the street, or you know, any in this neighborhood. You could be there an hour and make $60 or $70 an hour. And then you gotta pick up and go to the next job. I did it for years. Maybe 40 minutes, make 60 bucks, something like that, whatever, you know. Or, you can pass that, you can ride right by that job and go over and cut you, you know, 13 acres, 15 acres, 16 acres and make six or $700 in three hours, four hours. And not ragging out any one lawnmower because you got multiple mowers going. If one of them goes down, you all right. And nine times out of 10, on these great big properties that y'all, you guys see me do, there ain't no, there's very little manual labor, very little weed eating. And on some of the, on, on, on all the big properties that I do, there's no blowing off. 
It's all mower work. Lucrative mower work. And I'm not coming down on people that do the small residential, but my equipment won't 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 do that small residential as efficient as a stand-on 36-inch mower or 42-inch mower, whatever. I can do them, but I won't be able to do them as efficient as a stand-on mower can. I'm, I said it. <laughs> but I can do it. And I can make money at it. But ask yourself, can you go to the 15 acre site and make money with it, with, with one lawn mower? Or one stand on 36 inch lawn mower? No, you can't. Not make money at it. What I've learned, if I ain't learned nothing else in the game, is you gotta be universal. You gotta be able to do a lot of different stuff to stay busy. And if you stay with the mindset that you had 26 years ago, that that's all I need, man. You know. Then you really don't even need to be watching my channel. Because I'm going to say things on the channel that are probably going to hurt your feelings. I am. Because I, my channel's about growing and evolving. My channel ain't about just getting by and 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 uh, just making it. It's about the journey from 2008 to 2022. And if I had to look back on all those years, all those jobs, all those breakdowns and fail and failures and successes and all the issues with customers and all the things that I've had, all the heat and all the things that I've had to go through from every aspect. And then I, then I look out my window and I look at my trailer and my equipment and I'm still driving the same truck and I got the same freaking mower that I had in the very beginning. That tells me, for me and my makeup and my personality, that would have told me that I ain't being all I can be. And what you guys see me do out here is I, 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 I've had a plan <laughs> all along. The plan was to make as much money as I can in a minimal time with my machines. I don't have the right machines, okay, I'll buy the right ones. And I spend my money accordingly. Good deals, bad deals, successes and failures all along the way. And I'm still not where I want to be, y'all. I'm not. But don't get caught up in just getting by. It's, that's, that's an underachiever's mindset. I want to do more than get by. And there is risk in doing that. There is. And there's headaches in doing that. But I wouldn't have it any other way. My thinking since 2008 to 2022 has totally evolved. My thinking is much more in tune with the lawn care landscape business. Why is that? Because I've learned so much, y'all. So much. And what do you want your business to be? Do you want us to look back 20 years from now? Say, you know, I didn't really grow that lawn care business like I wanted to. And it doesn't have to be lawn care. It doesn't have to be bobcat work. It can be the nine to five job that you're going to right now. This, my, my, my basic concept applies throughout the working force. 
it's just so much more gratifying when you do it for yourself it is I can only speak on my business I can't speak on what's best for you or, or who or do or food I can only speak on what I've done in my experiences out here I, I can't speak on anything else I've had F-150 truck with no trailer. I've had F-150 truck with a single axle trailer, 10 footer. I did it for years. But the natural evolution to grow your business is gonna require more than that. If you ask me. If I didn't have the bigger trailers, I would never own a Bobcat because I could never be efficient enough to make the, make the money to be able to purchase a Bobcat. And I said purchase one. That's what I said. So y'all see that though my model might not be the correct way from a school standpoint but it's worked for me if I thought like I did in 2008 I wouldn't have a bobcat I wouldn't have a man lift I wouldn't have but one lawnmower and I wouldn't have but one truck and I wouldn't have but one trailer I wouldn't have a dump trailer hell if I thought like that I probably wouldn't even have this house anymore so for guys to come on here and mock you know what somebody said about a, a 12 foot trailer, uh, you know, and then try to act like they know what it's like to have a bigger trailer when they never had one by their own admission. How do you know what money you can make or can't make with another, another big lawnmower and some hustle about yourself? You gotta have some, gotta have some hustle about yourself too. I don't know. I don't worry about it. Because I see the fruits of my labor. You know, I see the fruits of what I'm doing. And, uh, that's enough for me. I see the bottom line. I see the numbers. And a lot of times I tell you guys the numbers. I would really like to know what somebody that's been doing this 26 years never stepped up from one mower or single axle trailer I would like to know how much money they make after 26 years that's what I'd like to know and be, and be honest about it probably not very honest about it they'll probably lie but see you can't lie to to somebody like me because I know that you can't compete and you can't make uh, a whole heap of money in a lawn care game uh, when you when you stay in the mindset of your first year or two your brain has got to evolve in order to evolve your pocket did you get in this game to to labor in people's yards and not make a lot of money. I didn't. It's just hard for me to look at folks coming sideways when they don't know what the hell, the, 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 they don't know what they don't know. Because they ain't never had nothing. They ain't never invested in nothing other than what what is the beginning stages. Not a beginner. And I'd like to think after five or six years of you guys coming into the into the game now, that after five or six years, that you're gonna consider yourself not a beginner either. And your equipment and your pocket is gonna reflect that. I don't know. Mine does. But I can I can I, I can say based on my experience what I can or can't do with a smaller setup. Because I've had a smaller setup and built my way up. If you're in this game and you are 
you know, doing residential properties and you're and you're doing 50 in a neighborhood, then you really won't don't need the kind of machines that I got. You really don't need that that kind of machines. If you're, you know, but just think about how much faster you would be if you had two of them. It's all about our time. It's all about what we think our time is worth. I feel like my time is worth a lot. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks my time is worth, it's matter what I think it's worth. Now, of course, that being said, if nobody else thinks, if none of my customers think my time is worth anything, then, then they won't pay me or I won't be able to make good money. You have to realize what you're worth. I, and I, I mean, I, I, I like to think, and you know, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, I like to think that my time's worth a lot. And that's why I'm stepping to the bigger and bigger equipment based on, not my physical ability, but based on the knowledge that I've learned in the last 15 years. Paying attention to what's going on around me so I can, so I can kind of maneuver myself into the, the most lucrative position as I get older. If I started this business when I was 25, I would be a millionaire by now. I don't care what anybody thinks. I know I would. Because that would have gave me a 12-year head start. 12 years. 12 additional seasons added on to what I'm already at. I couldn't imagine. I'd be in a whole other stratosphere. Or maybe not. Maybe... Maybe I would have gotten hurt and not been able to do this anymore. Maybe I'd have had a freaking heart attack by now or something. Who knows? But as long as I'm able, I won't be out here getting top dollar. Not thinking about what anybody else is really saying about, uh, you know, equipment or trailers or whatever. I'm going to make the moves necessary for me and my business because I know what moves need to be made based on my experience out here. And you guys that watch the channel, y'all can agree with me or not, but I'm going to make the right, I'm, I'm going to make the moves that I think are the right moves. Sometimes they're not right. But most of the time they are because I'm basing it on the experience that I have out here. And again, to cut grass, I don't even need a trailer. <laughs> I can make, you know, 300 a day, 400 a day without a trailer. But I don't want to spend my time like that. I want to spend my time in scenarios of making six or 700 a day and being done at two o'clock, three o'clock and then managing that money accordingly. Not going to the bar or whatever vacations or, or whatever there'll be plenty of time for all of that once I get the business to a point of where uh, I can uh, be okay with it right where I can be satisfied I don't know if that'll ever happen it might not ever happen I might die out here in the midst of trying to grow the business get happy can I have a heart attack I'm not going to settle. I'm just not. So now, so another thing that happened uh, this morning, uh, the yard that I did the other day, where we went over there and y'all saw me blow it in the street, and I really shouldn't have done that, but I did, uh, and it's real, that real thick Bermuda grass, and you know, uh, I, I had uh, talked to her about scalping it and bagging the scalp and, and all of that. Well, this morning she texted me and told me that uh, she found somebody else to do the property, that I, my services were no longer needed. I'll put the text right here so y'all can see it. And y'all can see my response too. I basically just, you know, y'all know, 
that I was really not interested in doing the yard anyway. She's she's always trying to find the cheapest person. But I want y'all to take a mental note of that and let's see if she calls me back. Because I don't believe that anybody's going to be able to do it regular any cheaper than me. But it's certainly not going to be able to do it any better. Because you can't buy any better lawnmowers than I got. Edgers, weed eaters. I mean, you can buy the same, but you're not going to buy any better. So I texted her back, and it's all right here. I texted her back, and I said, uh, Okay, I'm sorry to see you go. Uh, something like, let me know if things don't work out. Give me a shout. Or something like that. She came back and said, well, thank you, Ray. So we'll let her go. I know, and I know this customer. She didn't want to pay any more money, right? She didn't want to pay me what I went in there last year and telling her she was paying a guy $50 and hitting him in the mouth. So when I went over there to start doing that property, I, I told her I wouldn't be able to do it for less than 70. And she was like, mm, how about 60? I said, I can't do it for less than 70. So she said, okay. So we went through the season last year. And then this year, I texted her uh, about a week and a half ago and told her that I, I was going to have to go up on the number. I wanted to go to 100, from 70 to 100, but I didn't because I kind of wanted to, I kind of wanted to keep the customer because she's so close by. So what I did is I just went up $10. And she said, okay, make it an 80. She said, okay. And then me and Zach did it the other day. And uh, me and the lady was having some conversation and I was telling her some of the things that, you know, that she, that, that she needs to do to that Bermuda to make it be all it can be. And all she was thinking about was how much money everything's going to cost. Well, she was trying to get down off of the 70, uh, much less the, the new price of 80. So she probably got somebody to do it for 60. And let's just see how, how long it is before she calls me back. Because that job, you're not going to do that job with just any lawnmower. And make money at it for their, you know, unless you don't value your time. So uh, <clears throat> I'll keep you guys informed and y'all, uh, I'll put a little clip of uh, what house I'm talking about just in case you guys don't remember. I'll put a picture of it up here on me on the, me on the mower. But y'all know it was a, that bit, that Bermuda, that Bermuda, that Bermuda yard that I've been doing and that I cry about it every time I'm over there thinking I'm not charging enough money. So we'll see. Anyway, I know this video is kind of long, and I've been ranting a little bit, but uh, don't get caught up in the hype, man, in my hype or anybody else's hype. Do you. And uh, just remember that you got to invest in your business to make the most money. To make the most money and to be able to accumulate more equipment, even if it's not lawnmowers. And I hope everybody out there that watches my channel, I hope all you guys have a very successful season. And uh, I want everybody to make as much money as they can, nobody get hurt, and everybody get paid. That's what I want for me and for you guys. Miss Ray, I kick back.